Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. So it is the end of August, which means it's time for home fragrance empties. I am so excited that summer is almost over. Like I cannot even put it into words for you guys. I, I am just not a summer person. Um, I really tried hard this year to sort of embrace the season a little bit more. And I think I did a pretty good job. You know, I spent a lot more time outside, um, you know, did things like gardening because now uh, that's, that's the stage of life that I'm in. Like my yard is my pride and joy. So I was out there working quite a bit, um, you know, just kind of doing things with Craig and Stella, going on vacation, stuff like that. Um, but still, like at my core, I am not a summer person. I don't like the heat. It's still, even though it's cloudy today, it feels a little bit muggy. And honestly, right now, I feel like I am just sweating. It is so hot in this room back here. The air conditioning really struggles to keep up in the upstairs of the house. We really do need two units for this house, although we have the biggest like residential air conditioner that you can get. It's still not enough to like really cool the upstairs to the degree that we need it to be cooled. So anyway, currently I am roasting. It's hot. <laughs> I'm struggling. But um, thankfully, uh, it's starting to cool down just a little bit. Um, I know it's not fall quite yet. I know that it's, you know, still a few weeks away, but in my heart, uh, the end of August means the beginning of fall, and I am so ready for all things fall home fragrance, and I cannot wait to share all of that with you guys uh, this upcoming season. I'm planning on doing a lot of melting, especially of some of my homeworks candles. I shared with you at the beginning of, um, like towards the beginning of this year that I was on this mission to finish up a lot of my spring and summer homeworks candles. And I did a really good job with that. Um, I wish that I would have finished up maybe like three or four more. However, um, I still have next spring and summer to continue this project. But now I'm going to have to move into fall and holiday candles from homeworks in terms of finishing those up. So I've decided um, since I've started melting some of them underneath my candle lamps and that that is working really well for me that I'm going to use the two pronged approach, approach, approach of both burning and melting a lot of these candles at the same time just so that I can get through them faster and um, open up some closet space for storage other than candles. Like, you know, we have coats that they should be able to go into a closet. But right now, a lot of that space is taken up by candle storage. And um, yeah, I just go through these meltdowns at various points in my life where I'm like, I have too much stuff. I need to downsize and I'm in one of those modes right now. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and really go through my collection and really start kind of either editing things down and giving them away to friends and family or just burning and melting as much as I can. Um, for those who have suggested uh, selling candles on Poshmark or Mercari, I tried Mercari a few years ago, well, uh, more than a few years ago, back when we still lived in our old house. And it went well for quite some time until like it, it wasn't going well. Um, there's just a lot of really dishonest people on mercari making purchases and then you know like claiming that things arrive damaged when i just know there's no way that they could have arrived damaged and mercari really at least at that time tended to side with the buyer rather than the seller um so yeah i just i stopped doing that because i don't know i'm not into like sending people free candles, you know, where it costs me to like, you know, ship the product and then to, you know, not receive like the minimal payment that I was getting for like each of these candles. Like it just wasn't worth it for me. So not going that route. Sorry, I'm not putting these up anywhere for sale. Um, my friends and family always have access to all of the candles in my house. If they want to come and pick something out, they are more than welcome to. So um, yeah, they, they come and shop the Melanie candle store quite frequently. And I think I'm going to encourage that just a little bit more to also get through a lot of this stuff a little bit more quickly. All right, so um, without further ado, I want to go through these small amount of empties that I finished up here for the month. 
In the description box below this video, I will put links to where you can purchase any of these candles um, or wax melts. Um, there's Candle Crop 101, Candle Lamp 101. I haven't combined those two um, candle accessories into one video quite yet. I've been a little bit busy work-wise, and so I haven't had a chance to film that video, but things should be slowing down a little bit here in the next week or two, so I'll get around to doing that. Um, and uh, yeah, discount codes, all that fun jazz. It's a plethora of information down there, so always be sure to check that out. You might be able to find your answer to your question down there before I'm even able to get back to you. I'm a little slow with responding to YouTube can uh, YouTube comments sometimes, um, but uh, yeah. So maybe if you can find your answer there, that will be helpful for you. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it uh, before I start roasting uh, in this room. Hi, sir. Do you are you you gotta come sit on my lap? Sorry, Alf needs to. Alrighty, we're gonna readjust here for one second because he has just taken over my lap. All right, are you gonna snore the whole time? Y yeah, okay, we have a yawn, which means he's planning on taking a nap. All right, let's get started. Uh, we have Bath and Body Works Vanilla and Musk. Oh, so first of all, obviously there's still wax in here, which means that it lived out the rest of its life in my crock. Uh, with this one, I started noticing that it was wanting to send up huge plumes of smoke after the halfway point, of course. It burned fabulously for the first half of the candle, which is my experience with a lot of Bath & Body Works candles, but they kind of tend to take a dump at the halfway point. That was the case with this one. Now, knowingly, even after this one taking a dump, if you will, at the halfway point, I still ended up ordering three or four more of this particular scent because even if it has to go into the crock, I love this fragrance so much. This originally, I believe, was called Toasted Marshmallow, and it came with this beautiful like marble lid. Um, I cannot remember what year that came out, but it was such a beautiful scent. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is just a repackage of it. They say this is whipped vanilla, soft cedar wood, and suede musk. I don't know why I'm smelling it. It is now just a scentless hunk of wax, but I really love this one and um, will continue to enjoy it throughout the fall months as well. So um, yeah, even though it did end up in the crock. This started and ended its life in the crock. What is this? It's pumpkin spice from Homeworks. This was sent to me in PR. I don't purchase these three wick candles from Homeworks because they just don't give me enough oomph. So these, when I receive them either as a free gift with purchase or when they're sent in PR, I just automatically put them into my candle crock. This one was in the candle crock in this room here and I got two solid weeks of like pretty hefty pumpkin spice goodness out of this one. Um, it's a pretty classic kind of generic pumpkin spice scent. So you've got um, roasted pumpkin cinnamon stick, ground nutmeg, and glazed sugar. It's quite sweet, it's quite spicy, um, and it's quite basic in its composition, but it's good, right? If you have a smaller home, uh, like an apartment, or you just have an older style of home where the rooms are a little bit smaller or more enclosed, our home is just very open concept. It's like a, the typical early 2000s. So um, fragrances tend to get lost unless they have quite a bit of like strength and throw behind them. So these um, in the Crocs do in incredibly well. Sometimes when you're struggling with a scent, if you put it in the candle crock, it just, it's just stronger. I don't know why. It's just some weird, some weird law a science, I don't know, that like exists in the universe that whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is another one that ended up in the crock. Okay, so listen, I reviewed all of the um, all of the new fall country candle and Kringle candle scents that were released for 2023. All those videos are up on my channel. It, they went up in the beginning of August. If you weren't quite ready to watch them then, you can reference those videos now as you begin ordering your fall candles. This one here was a little bit lighter than I would have liked it to be. So I did decide to put it into the candle crock for uh, about, I got about a week and a half out of this one in the crock. And that is on, I leave my crocks on 24 seven. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I just always have done that. Um, I've never had any issues with my crocks, so it's fine. 
This one, the uh, pumpkin banana muffin, wow, did this pick up strength and throw in the candle crock. This was quite light. Um, now, the thing is, the country candle went from paraffin to their soy formula with the spring summer candles starting this year. I think they are still kind of trying to figure out the sweet spot with the transition um, because some of them do great and some of them are lighter. So that's my personal experience when testing them out. I definitely feel like they still have some room for improvement there. Um, some people have had a lot more consistent experience than I have, but for me, some are still lighter than others. The Kringle candles in the, like this style of jar here, those are always super, super consistent for me. I feel like that they have completely nailed. Like those are perfect. Um, but the country candles, I do still find some fluctuation in those. Um, I don't fault Kringle for that because when you make a changeover to a different type of wax with an existing vessel, I'm going to assume that there needs to be a little bit more play involved in terms of figuring out the, you know, all the concentrations of the oils, how that mixes with the wax, how that works with the vessel. So that being said, um, this one was a little bit lighter when I was burning it, but it did fabulously when I put it in the crock. I will be purchasing a bunch of wax melts once the fall wax melts are replenished. Um, I just really love this scent. It is delicious and it smells exactly like the name. It smells like a pumpkin banana bread or a muffin, whatever you wanna call it. It's delicious, highly recommend checking it out, but maybe check it out in the wax melts um, because for me, this one was just a little bit lighter. Unless you like a slightly lighter um, lighter uh, performance from your candles. Like some people don't want, and, and not me, obviously I want things to smack me in the face, but some people don't want really heavy, um, looming, oppressive amounts of fragrance in their house. That's my preference, but it's not everybody else's preference. So um, anyway, I really love the scent and I will be purchasing more of it, but it will probably be in the wax melt format. Um, another crinkle candle that I finished all the whole way down. She's done. Um, I did not put this in the crock at all. I, oh, you guys know how I feel about Sicilian orange. Fresh, juicy orange with a beautiful herbal note. I love this one. She will always be a rock star spring and summer option in my collection. And um, yeah, I love it. If you haven't tried it, I feel like it's kind, it's kind of going out of season for me, but if you're not a seasonal burner, give this one a try. It is delicious. Um, and I know you guys have been asking me about my Kringle collab. Just a short, quick little update for you. Um, I do think that it will be coming out somewhat soon. I do not have an exact release date for you. I am finalizing everything with Kringle right now. We just nailed down the label, which I kind of love um it, I'm really excited about it but I'm also like now starting to get nervous because I'm like oh what if everyone hates it what if no one likes the smells that I love <laughs> or you know like like my vision for the scent what if people are like oh let's I don't like this. <laughs> I love it. Listen, I am super excited about this and everyone in like my real life here that I've had smell the, uh, the finished product or, well, I don't have the finished product, but like the sample, they were like, this is fantastic, but I don't know if they think it's fantastic. Cause you know, they're my friends and my family and they love me. Or if it's just a really great scent because it's just yummy and perfect for exactly what it is. But I don't know. Anyway, I will have more information for you guys coming soon. Um, as soon as I have a release date, I will obviously let you know. Um, I do think that um, it will probably be out at some point before the holidays. Well, it has to because it's a holiday scent. <laughs> Otherwise, I would say we should probably hold off on it until next year because it really very much is like, it's a, it's a holiday scent and um, even I think for a seasonal burner, they would probably consider it like a very like holiday vibe kind of scent. So anyway, as soon as I can tell you guys more, I promise you that I will tell you more, but we're still finalizing up just a few, a few last details. So more information to come. Let's keep going. 
All right, Farm Sam Blueberry. Uh, this was in a slightly different packaging. Um, this one struggled a little bit for the last burn, but that was kind of my bad. It was pretty much almost finished, like before I blew it out, and there wasn't much wax left. I should have just let it like burn itself out. But um, I went ahead and lit it up the next day, and then that last little bit of wax in the bottom kind of struggled to melt because the wick clips were, well, they're right there. And so once the wick clips um, extinguish the like wicks, then yeah, you're not gonna be able to get anything else out of this. So I love that scent, um, but I prefer it in the farm stand trios that I picked up from QVC. Those have a little bit more oomph to them. This one did fine, but um, I'm just used to getting a little bit more out of the farm stand blueberry fragrance. This one was just a little bit lighter. All right, this raspberry peach macaron um, finished its life in my candle crock in my master bedroom because she kind of wanted to start getting a little sooty and dirty, as you can see. So I decided to go ahead and pop that into my candle crock and finished it there. That used to be one of my holy grail scents from Bath & Body Works back in the day. I believe that came out in 2014. I had so many of this particular scent. I still have several of the um, these little mason jars left, but I will definitely be finishing those up next spring. All right, oh my gosh, my back hurts so bad. I'm like leaning into this shelf here and it's like digging into my back, but I also just can't sit up straight on my own for as long as I've been filming. <laughs> All right, Berry Trifle. I love Berry Trifle. This is one of my favorite scents ever from um, Homeworks. I fell in love with this back in 2018 when it was originally released on QVC. And when I saw it come back, I definitely purchased a few backups of it. Um, Harry has been pretty good about recycling some of his older scents. I know some people don't care for that. I like it. Um, I mean, if I have a favorite, like I wanna be able to purchase it year after year. Um, and for a while there, he was not bringing older scents back. But I think at this point, like, you know, there, how much how much new can you come up with, right? Like, Homework definitely does a good job of pumping out a lot of different types of fragrances, but I feel like, you know, sometimes it's just like, eh, what do we do next? You know, let's maybe kind of re-release some of the older stuff that was popular. Personally, I love that, but I do understand that there are some people that are like, oh, I don't want any repackages, like I just want new. I think they do kind of a good job of balancing the two right now. Um, for me, I love a good repackage, so I'm happy about it, but um, yeah, anyway, if you're not, sorry. <laughs> I was really glad to see Berry Travel come back, and I think a lot of you guys were as well, but anyway, here is a Vanilla Bean Macaron. Um, this one was from 2021, yes. Um, I can't remember. I think I bought this at, I think Ulta. Ulta had this scent for a while, so I think I got a number of those there. That one burned great. That was a good one. Um, here we have, ooh, let's take it back to the OG Three Wick Days. I only have one more original Three Wick left, and it's my har beloved Harvest Leaves. I am going to burn it this year because it's, it's, it's from 2018 at this point, so I probably should just kind of finish it up. Um, but man, the three wicks were great and this one was no exception. This was definitely the heyday of Homeworks in terms of just overall quality. I feel like they had amazing strength and throw. Um, I feel like wick issues weren't an issue back then. I never experienced them, but I still don't deal with a lot of wick issues now. Um, I limit the burn of my Homeworks three wicks can homeworks four wick candles geez i'm this is like a tongue twister <laughs> i limit the burn of those to about two and a half maybe three hours and that really helps with that um but this seabreeze scent it's one that i didn't appreciate back when it first came out but um my fragrance tastes tastes have definitely evolved over the years and so i do think that um that I appreciate this fragrance a little bit more now. So I think I'd actually repurchase that if he re-released it again, because I really enjoyed burning it. So a couple more here. We have Peach Upside Down Cake, again from Homeworks. I'm telling you, I tried my dangdest to finish up a lot of these spring summer candles, and I got through a lot. This one burned fabulously. This was a 2020, yep, this was a 2020 um, ripe peach brown sugar crumble, sweet orange and baked crust. 
she was delicious. I think I still have one more of these. Um, great scent, would not mind if he recycled that one next year at some point. This was my troublemaker. This is White Sangria. Sucks that she's a troublemaker because she smells so good. But I did end up melting her underneath my candle lamp and I will be doing that a whole lot more with Homework's candles. Hey buddy, I gotta adjust. Excuse me, excuse me. Is he moving? No, sorry, we're just, we're gonna have a little rearrangement here. Hi, you wanna sit in my lamp again? Probably not, she's like, He's so mad right now. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, anyway, I, um, yeah, I, I melted this bad boy underneath my candle lamp. Um, I am going to be doing that a lot with the fall and holiday candles as well. I think it's going to help me get through a lot more of these. This one I had to do that with because the wicks just would not stay lit. I don't deal with a lot of, um, like I mentioned, the wick issues from Hallmarks, but this one was one of the ones where like it just wouldn't stay lit. Sometimes you get a homeworks candle and you go to light it and the wick just is like meow. It just disappears and it's like, what's happening? <laughs> Where did the wick go? Um, so anyway, with those candles, I would highly suggest putting them underneath a candle lamp because you're gonna get some great fragrance out of them. You're not gonna get the ambiance of the flame, but you are going to get the fragrance out of them. So that's the case with this one. Um, there is still wax left in here because you are melting by layers when it comes. Oh gosh, here he comes. Um, you do melt by layers when you are melting with a lamp, which obviously from the top down is warming the, the wax. So I just pour the wax into um, another empty homeworks container and then I melt that next layer and I continue to do that until I get to the last layer. So this last layer is right here. Um, I didn't bother to pour it out because, well, I was done. So um, yeah, anyway, I, I, I know you shouldn't have to do that. I know you shouldn't have to do that with a candle. However, if you have a bunch of these homeworks candles that are doing that to you, either they the strength and throw is lower or that you are struggling with the wicks, try a lamp. That is how I have gotten um, my money's worth out of these, at least in terms of the fragrance output. I always have other candles going, so I have ambiance. I have Luminara candles, so I have ambiance, but um, you know, I just, I get extra fragrance that way. This is my beloved blueberry cheesecake. I love it so much. This one burned just fine the whole way down. Um, I am keeping these metal lids because like most of you, I don't like, I don't like the new lids. They, um, they do make stacking the candles a little bit harder. Now the lids are shiny again, but they are still that more like aluminum uh, material. This is like a solid metal material. So I just keep these and I plop them onto my newer candles that come with the lids that I don't care for. Hello, sir, you're being so sweet. Hi. Oh, he's so cute, you guys, I just love him. Okay, let's talk some wax melts. There's a few. Um, I'm just gonna go through these rather quickly. Violet sponge sugar, yummy, liked it a lot, kind of a nice candied type scent. Tangerine and sugar cane went into my club. I love this one. A really nice, sweet, juicy tangerine. Great performance. Ariel under the sea. Um, this is this is like a fresh marine type scent. I really enjoyed this, but I don't know, not like insanely special, but a nice fresh summer scent for sure. Um, a Tinkerbell sweet and sassy. This one I think has some nice citrus notes to it. This one's really, again, fresh, kind of clean, really pleasant. Um, I, I like the citrus in here, but not, I don't know, this isn't one of those scents where I'm like, I have to put it in my club. I don't think I have to put that in my club. Um, so Violet Sponge Sugar again. Um, Monomore from Kringle. There should be a couple of Monomores in here. Um, right? Yep, yeah, there's two. Okay, this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. If you love that perfume, um, this smells exactly like that. Um, it's not a smack you in the face kind of fragrance, just like the perfume isn't a smack you in the face kind of perfume. Um, I've heard a lot of people saying that the strength of this is just not up to par for them. Um, I can see where people are coming from with that for sure, but it does just, I think this type of scent is not, it's not supposed to be a smack you in the face kind of fragrance. So if that's what you're looking for, uh, don't get this one. However, this one, 
quite potent, uh, sweet stuff, my beloved. So this is an excellent dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 fragrance, which is the Boom Boom Cream scent. Love it. Bought so many of these this year. It's so good. Um, all right, raspberry hibiscus tea. This is yummy. Very, very tart, but delicious for sure. Um, I like this one. I would definitely repurchase it. Um, make a splash. This is a nice like apple and melon scent that I've enjoyed for a couple of years from Scentsy. This one's really, really good. Definitely worth checking out. Um, we have aloe water and cucumber. This is my fancy lady bathroom scent. I love that one. Really fresh and clean. Tangerine cream sickle. You know what? After this summer, I don't know that I like the scent as much anymore. I think my nose is changing just a little bit. The cream sickle part of it is smells a little bit almost sour to my nose. I like the tangerine part, but I think the creamsicle part is throwing me off. Yeah, don't love this, but that's okay. Um, Berry Bright, this is a nice kind of almost like blue raspberry, very candy type scent. It's yummy, I like it. I would definitely get more of that. Sweet and Sassy Tinkerbell. Tahitian Twilight. There might be a couple of these in here. Oh, there's another Tinkerbell. God. Man, I got a lot of that Tinkerbell. <laughs> All right, Tahitian Twilight. This one's nice. It has some pineapple in it, and I don't love pineapple, but it's actually done pretty decently in here. It's actually not the most predominant note. This has some nice sort of like underlying musk type notes and some nice, it's got like a floral, tropical floral vibe to it with a little bit of musk and just a touch of pineapple, pineapple to my nose. I really like it. Um, not club worthy though. Um, pink berry fluff. Ooh, this one smells good. This is a very sweet, almost like powdery musk type scent, but a lot of like sweetness as well. It's very interesting. I like this one a lot. I think this was in an Easter collection, right? I can't even remember. Anyway, that's it. That's everything. That's what I finished this month. <laughs> I feel like I did pretty good. I wish I would have, again, finished a little bit more, but being gone on vacation and then also focusing on reviewing a lot of like new fall scents, it kind of put me behind a little bit. But that being said, I'm proud of myself for finishing what I did. And it's time to go to the recycling bin with all this glass and um, yeah. Let me know what you finished in the comments down below. Check the description box for information if you're curious about anything. I appreciate you guys being here. Please subscribe if you're new. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!